very clear. We are not intimidated by those who hurl insults, abuse at small business workers, and steal food from the homeless. We won't give in to those who fly racist flags. We won't cave to those who engage in vandalism, dishonor the memory of our veterans. There is no place in our country for threats, violence, or hatred. So to those responsible for this behavior, it needs to stop. The politicians exploiting people's fears, they ask you to think long and hard about the consequences of their actions. The nearly 90% of truckers across the country who've gotten vaccinated who continue working hard to keep us fed and keep our economy moving. Thank you. Before we get started, I want to congratulate President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Harris. I'm looking forward to working with them both on the common challenges and opportunities facing our countries and our world. Canada and the United States have a unique relationship, and this bond will always be the strong foundation on which we build our shared future. I also want to take a moment to reflect on the historic milestone we reached in this election. So many people in Canada and around the world seeing a woman, a black and South Asian American woman, elected as the next Vice President of the United States is an inspiration and a reminder that everyone's voice belongs in power. We, uh, as I've said, we have confidence in the American electoral process uh, as it has unfolded. I was pleased to congratulate our President elect Biden on the weekend. We will continue to work uh, with the current American administration until uh, January 20th, after which we work with the new administration. Uh, President, uh, president uh, Biden, once he's sworn into office, will be my third American president, demonstrated the ability to stand up uh, and defend Canadian interests throughout, which uh, we will do.
Ha 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 